Meet Hess, the Stardew Valley player trying to collect 909 of every single item, the maximum amount you can have in one stack at one time. This is a full interview with him, already trimmed up a little bit. It was a long interview since the run is just stupidly interesting. So I would recommend uh, throwing your phone in your back pocket, putting in some earbuds, and maybe getting some housework done. Maybe get out of your chair, go for a walk, or finish up that schoolwork you've been putting off. I've also provided the timestamps for all the questions below, so feel free to skip around to the topics you find most interesting. Also, he does stream on Twitter so make sure you give him a follow if you have any more questions that don't get answered in this video. Enjoy. So what does your chest storage system look like? So uh, the chests down here are just my entire inventory for the whole farm. Basically everything. Um, they're color coded so I know them but it's kind of hard <laughs> just to describe it. Uh, red is fruit, green vegetables. Uh, this light purple color are artisan goods and animal products I believe. Uh, black over here are uh, material metals and gems. This silver is materials. Um, these are machines here, which is probably the craziest thing to do on this, <laughs> in this challenge. Oh yeah, uh, I have a plan for that. That that might be the answer to the um, what's the hardest one? What quality of items are you going for, or does it change depending on the item? It's one quality. I'm. I think I'm switching to highest. Uh, it's going to depend how I feel about refarming all the fruits and stuff. For fish, it's going to be lowest though, because I'm not about to catch iridium quality fish for all of them. You might have noticed over here, there's a whole lot of fish ponds. Um, that's my plan going forward for that. <laughs> what are you working on currently item-wise? Uh, right now, I'm trying to completely finish off cooking. Uh, so this is sun... F well, so there's three here. Uh, the sunfish and the bream are the ones you need to make baked fish. I need uh, 2,000 of each. So 999 for the stack and 999 for the baked fish. What is all this fiber for? Yes, I use those fiber seeds to maintain the um, fertilizer across the seasons. So I stopped growing things in spring because I don't need anything else from spring. Um, so in the summer, I cut all these down and plant star fruit. You'll notice it's summer now, but that's because I slept a few days on this backup. Mm -mm. Uh, and then in fall, I'm not completely done yet. I still need to do, um, fall forage seeds. So I noticed you have 460 million made. Uh, what made most of that? Was it just artisan goods, animals? Uh, for the most part, it was starfruit wine. Um, mm -hmm. about probably close to two years ago on this farm, maybe three years ago, that was probably almost half. I really made an effort recently to make a lot of money. For a yeah. long time, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to need a lot of money. I thought I was pretty set on cash. Mm -hmm. uh, but I found out. Uh, I don't know how I missed this. These bad boys here. Oh they, yeah. They stack, and they're a million each. I did not even think about those. You got to buy them. They, they're kind of annoying to buy too. Yeah, but I've been buying them as I go because I also need uh, a lot of omni geodes for. Uh, something I'll probably talk about a little later. But oh uh, yeah, okay. As far as the endless statues go, I will eventually need a whole lot of them. Right now, I think I have about 150, which hmm. is already quite a number of them. I get about 50 a year, but I've only been doing that for about three years. Mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. just decreased my farming area size, so it'll probably change around a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, my first question is, when did you start this project? Um, so this farm was my first ever farm in the game, and I started playing back in 1.0, so that was in 2016. Mm -hmm. But I didn't actually start doing this project until probably a year, if not two later. It's hard to remember back that far now. So the game has changed a lot since then, and actually when I started this project, um, if the game had stayed the way it was since then, I'd probably actually be close to done with it at this point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. <laughs> so, many, so many things have been added, but... Not only that, uh, just like basic things from the game have changed. Uh, kegs and other furniture, or not furniture, like craftable items, did not used to stack at all. So, oh, I see. What was a really, what was a really good change for uh, casual playing, which is great, and I, I love it because it's much easier to put like a dozen kegs down somewhere, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it became a lot harder for me. Yeah, completely uh, screwed you over. <laughs> yeah. But it made it more fun at the same time because things got a lot more interesting. Uh, instead of needing like so much wood, I suddenly needed like so wood, which I now need seven hundred thousand, almost eight hundred thousand oh. wood, <laughs> which I've actually already finished. <coughs> you can buy it. 
uh, luckily, and it is kind of cheap. Yeah, uh, 1.5.5 saved you a little bit, I imagine, with that, or did you do it before that? Oh, 1.5.5. The oh, 25 yeah, buying at a time. Oh, no, I unfortunately did all that before that. Yeah, oh, so boy. <laughs> uh, luckily, it wasn't all at once, because I only got my money, like, weekly or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, but things like stone and wood, I didn't need that much before, but now, once I needed a whole bunch of furniture, everything started stacking. Uh, once everything started stacking, craft was not furniture, uh, and suddenly the amount of stone and wood I needed skyrocketed, um, which wouldn't have been a big problem. Actually, 1.5 did save me in that, because they added the deconstructors. Oh yeah, you're right, that's true. So but also, added 500 more things you need to get. <laughs> yes. Uh, if Actually, I'm pretty sure 1.5 was a net positive for me. Oh, really? Uh, there's some things that were more difficult, and there's a few things in particular that are ridiculous. Uh, but with the deconstructors, I completely finished. Uh, there's nothing in there now. I've been using it to get... Because you can get fiber and stone from deconstructors really easily. Yeah, yeah, with the staircases and... Yeah, and fiber seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I finished stone and fiber pretty much right away after that. Uh, one of the crazier things I ever did here was um, my desert looks completely different now, but I used to have uh, like 30 deconstructors in there. Uh, there's something you can deconstruct fishing bobbers too. Oh yeah, for hardwood, gold, and iron, I think. Yes, uh, I decided not to do it for hardwood because of what I had to go through with gold and iron. So, uh, <coughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to finish up gold and iron, so I just made a commitment and it took like a whole year just to do it. I basically just filled my desert with chests full of, um, what are they, not lead bobbers, I think it's spinners and treasure bobbers. Uh, the entire desert was pretty much just full of chests with those in them. Uh, and then the deconstructors with hoppers were there as well. Uh, and I would just, like, every day, I would go by and I'd, like, refill in the hoppers and everything. It took a long time, but now I'm completely done with iron and gold. So this is my big chest down here. This has, like, all the extra stuff. Oh, yeah, and wow. <laughs> these are just the ores, and then that middle one is uh, gems oh. and stuff. I see you got your quality quartz over here, so, yeah, you have been playing ages, like you said. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's 1.0 exclusive. Yeah, that's 1.0 exclusive, I believe. Cool thing, if you do have them, they still work in crystallariums. So if you put them in crystallariums, they pop up. Oh, they I was up. wondering how you had so many. I actually did that fairly recently. Mm -hmm. so I was like, well, I might as well get the highest quality I can. And so my next question, uh, how long has it taken, or just how many hours do you have on this farm? Um, or just in Stardew in general, I don't know. In Stardew in general, let me shift tab really quickly. It's at 1,642 hours. Mm -hmm. I'd say about 600 hours of that was uh, in the past year and a half or so. Uh, I really started playing a lot more once 1.5 came out. Mm -hmm. We uh, all did. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and because of quarantine. I yeah, had yeah. Time. That's what got me into it. I was going to say, how long do you think this is going to take total? So you're whatever, six, let's just say 600 hours in for simplicity. How many more do you think it'll take? Oh, Guesstimate. Sorry, I, I must have mistaken. For this farm, I'm. This is pretty much all my hours in Stardew. Oh, okay. So you. Oh, so you have your 1,600 hours all in this. Okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because we've had Stardew came out what? Eight years ago now. Five, I think. Five or six. I think it was the fifth year anniversary. So I, I finally made a totals list for my spreadsheet. I actually did that at the beginning of this year. I think around 1.5 came out, uh, and it says I'm 80% done, but that's not exactly accurate. Because I got all the easy stuff out of the way. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because, like, sure, getting a 999 wood and 999 stone, easy. Get all that stuff out of the way. And that takes, like, what? Probably, like, I don't know, 25% of the time. And then you get to the impossible stuff. And that's when the time really comes in, I'd imagine. Yeah. So, speaking of some impossible things, uh, there's this thing right here. What is this? T set. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh this gosh. This is the um the winter star thing, isn't it? Yes. So each villager, I think only the adults have a chance of giving you this item uh -huh. for the feast of the winter star. Uh it does stack, which I think it's the only decor in the game that actually stacks. Oh. Uh, I don't know why it stacks. <laughs> why this of all things? Uh, I guess cuz so, he thought he would never have more than one of it that you just never know, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, luckily though, 
Uh, I did find out some things pretty recently that make it a little easier. If you reset the day, the gift re-randomizes. So oh. for the Feast of the Winter Star, I can, as long as I get an adult, I can keep resetting until I get it. Um, that still is going to bring me to 999 years at some point, probably beyond. Oh my uh, god. But, and that'll be at the end of the challenge, so I'll just be sleeping years away. Um, there's a few things that are only yearly. A few of the rare crows you can only get yearly. I think they're in here now. Yeah, I moved them recently. So some of them you'll see are like at eight or something like that. That's yeah. because they weren't available yearly until 1.5 came out. Uh, they used to be you could only get one of them for some of them. Oh Let's boy. Uh, what was something that you thought would be hard uh, but was easy and then the opposite of that? Uh, I definitely did not do a lot of research going in. You did ask earlier about like the start of the challenge, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and really, it kind of came about organically. I was yeah. looking for, like when I, when I have a game I really love, like Stardew or like uh, Fallout New Vegas or things like that, I look for ways to play it beyond its normal life cycle. Anyways, I realized, I think, that I was taking way too much time planning <laughs> that out and try to figure out how to do it, which back then I felt it was possible. Um, but I eventually was like, well, I've got a pretty good farm right now, and I've got so many different things. I don't know where the idea directly came from, but it just kind of came out of, like, well, I'm trying to get as much of something as I can. Well, this game stacks items in stacks of 999. Yeah. Why don't I just see if I can't get a stack of every single item? Mm-hmm. Um, and back then, that seemed reasonably achievable. <laughs> <laughs> there were... The only things that really stacked were fish, which terrible uh back then we didn't have fish ponds uh <laughs> oh that yeah would, that would have stopped me in my tracks right there i think i don't think i've ever would have completed this or sought to complete it if fish ponds didn't come out at some point um, jesus yeah but then there were fruits vegetables and forge uh and all the forge save for a few you could farm so there was basically the same as farming them uh, mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's all very reasonable. Oh, and then metal bars and stuff, which we didn't have radioactive ore. Uh, we didn't have... Well, there was prismatic shards, but there are ways to get a lot of prismatic shards even back then. Yeah, even just back before base skull caverns. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, oh yeah, this guy. I completely forgot about him, actually. <laughs> I was just thinking uh, big, big dives and skull... I stole your iridium. Oops. That's fine, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine. Yes, yeah, so way back in the beginning, uh, we'll start with the item I thought would be easy, which would be, but turned out to be really difficult. Um, so I planned everything out. I made my spreadsheet, which was a lot smaller back then. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, all of these things, I can do this, I can do that. And then I realized something when I got to, uh, through my vegetable one, I realized there's something called fiddlehead ferns. Oh, um, yeah. And they don't have a whole lot of ways to get them. In fact, back then, the only way you could get a fiddlehead fern was to go into the secret woods in summer. Oh. That was, that was the only place it was. Yeah. So I, I counted it out one year, and I was averaging probably, like, 17, even with the double drops perk, mm -hmm. 17 in a year. And I was like, that is ridiculous. I have to go there every day for, well, every other day I worked out uh, for <laughs> every summer and I mapped it out, it was going to take something like a hundred years of just doing that every year. Yeah. <laughs> that, that felt ridiculous to me. Uh, and that one turned out to, yeah, that one was very difficult. Uh, uh -huh. It still is, as I do have a full stack now. Luckily, uh, <laughs> Concerned Ape, in all of his glory, uh, decided to add multiple ways to get Fiddlehead Ferns. Uh, oh. Now they have the dinosaur floors. Oh, the yeah. Caverns that have them in them. Mm -hmm. uh, Recently, with the island update, there is the uh, jungle in there that occasionally has them in there. Oh yeah, Leo's and place. The, and the the uh, the harder mines also has floors that spawn them. So, yeah, this this amount of fiddlehead ferns it looked pitiful before 1.5 <laughs> came out. Uh, but now I've been running those mines a lot for a lot of different things like radioactive ore, and so you get a lot of that really quick. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, Galaxy Souls. Absolutely Galaxy Souls. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought Galaxy Souls was going to be impossible. Um, there is two ways that you can get... Three ways you can get Galaxy Souls. I didn't know about the third way for a while. Uh, the first way is that you can trade 40 Q gems for one. Um, mm -hmm. So 40,000 Q gems isn't really realistic. Yes. I, I can get Q gems pretty quickly. 
Uh, 40,000 is a lot of key gems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I still need to get quite a few. Uh, I was just like, I was like, how am I going to get that many? Uh, the second way I found out about much later, but also isn't a very good way of getting it. You can actually go to the island trader, and I think on the last day of the month, uh, sh she'll trade you, or I think it's a bird, he'll trade you, she'll trade you, a uh, galaxy soul for 10 radioactive bars. Mm -hmm. But radioactive bars are also an issue I have, so it wasn't really a solution. Uh, but then I found out they drop pretty regularly from the monsters in the harder mines. Um, yeah, they right really now, do. I've got 72 of them. 72? Already. That's pretty good. Oh, slime yeah. eggs. Hmm, interesting. Oh, Those yeah, might be eggs. tough. So I'll talk about slime eggs when we eventually talk about the auto petter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out that um, the solution is the same for mostly most of it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So yeah, that would be probably the thing that I thought was going to be really difficult, if not impossible, and turned out to be fairly straightforward. Hmm, well that's, that's nice. So, my next question, I feel like I probably already know the answer. Have you used any mods, or is this all in vanilla? This is all in vanilla. I try not to even use exploits. Um, let's see. I think the only exploit I've really ever used was the uh, fishing journal trick before that got patched out. Can you remind really me what that is? Because I'm actually not sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so all that does is save time. When you are fishing, uh, well, you can't do that any this anymore, but when it used to be the case, when you were fishing and you cast out your line and pressed your journal button, which was at the top, um, like the exclamation mark that shows up. Yep. If you have a quest, um, it would pause time while your reel was out. And then you could click and bring in the fish while the um, time was paused. So it wouldn't waste any time. Oh so yeah, that, that could, could be catch pretty good. More fish per day. Mm -hmm. But uh, all it did was save time, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, so I don't think that's really fun. like. I don't think that invalidates the run in the slightest. I don't think anyone would really care. I don't think that's a big deal personally. No, I don't think so either. Uh, also, I set the rules, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there is an exploit I also I, I chose not to use when I found out about it. Uh, this was also patched out of the game, so I'm glad I didn't use it. Uh, Krobus sells things occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes he'll sell uh, food, sometimes he'll sell fish, um, but he only sells small quantities of them. Mm -hmm. uh, like, limited daily, basically. Yeah. Uh, there was a glitch in the game that every time you bought it and then left the sewers and came back, it would refresh his inventory. Oh, yeah. But I didn't end up using that at all. So, yeah, that seems good. like a little... I mean, still, I don't think it would have been a huge deal, but, like, that still feels, like, kind of... Kind of a little bit different, I guess. Since, like, with fish, really... you could still do it, like... But with that, you would have had to spend, like, ages walking back to your house, sleeping, etc., walking back. So I feel like it's kind of different. And plus, you yeah, set the rules, I, so... I like it, which is why, yeah, which is why I set that rule. I didn't like that one. Uh, basically anything that lets me buy more than I'm supposed to be, I don't really think is a very good way of doing it, because, mm -hmm. I mean, the whole reason this challenge works is something that's actually enjoyable for me to do, is some things are limited by getting them through farming very specific things. Uh, it wouldn't be very fun if I could just buy everything, right? Yeah, exactly, it'd that'd be, be. It'd just be a money farm. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, auto petters. Let's talk auto petters. What is your your strategy for auto petters? You can also mention slime eggs or or anything else like that. I think you mentioned slime eggs okay. uh, in relation let's, to auto uh, petters. Let's go ahead and take a sleep real quick. And then... Yeah. <laughs> Where's Leah at? <laughs> oh, Leah, good choice. <laughs> yeah. Best wife. I haven't I haven't changed at all. Uh, she does also occasionally give me fiddlehead ferns, so best wife. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's overpowered. Ah, oh, here she is. For auto petters, the only way you can get them if you didn't go JoJo Row, which, uh, as you might guess, I did not do. Yeah. Community center. <clears throat> I think I saw you do a video recently where you got all the achievements you've never gotten before. Yep. Yeah. So I don't have Factor's challenge. I haven't even beaten Journey of the Prayer King. I'm terrible at that. My brother beat other... it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just like he saw my achievement video and was like, "Hey, I want to give it a try," and he just beats it first try. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of embarrassing for me, but yeah, I'll take I, it. I'm not good at those games either. It's just, it's too much for me. Yeah. I was watching the uh, Junimo Kart tournament, and I was like, oh, that looks easy. I'll give it a, a no. Just, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get past, like, level three ever. Yeah. 
Yes, so this is a community center farm, so I can't just buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, so the only way to get them, well, there's actually two ways I found out later, uh, but the second one is too rare to rely on. The only way to reasonably get a lot of them is through the Skull Caverns. Yep. Uh, and to do that, you need to get a treasure floor, and then you have a 1 in 27 chance, I believe it is. Yeah, of something like treasure that. treasure chest containing an audit better. So I went ahead and did a lot of math, <laughs> which it's not very complicated math, it just took me a while, to figure out exactly how many staircases I would need to reasonably get 999 <laughs> out of feathers. Oh, uh, yeah? And it, it worked out to an amount that is fairly reasonable if you want to follow me in the desert really quickly crystallariums jade a lot of buying you know it's not it's not rocket science but it takes a while i'd yeah, imagine it does take a while so uh i have a lot of jade uh-huh and i've been working hard to get enough staircases it's going to take me a long time uh but eventually i will get there <laughs> what is so, the number of staircases if uh, if i may ask uh so Let's go back. You have the um, farm totems, right? Yes. So, I get them too. Okay. so you're going to spawn up there. Yeah. Yep. I'll just walk down over to you. All right. And come inside. And uh, don't mind my horribly decorated house. I am. Oh, you and me both. Don't worry. <laughs> the decor aspect of this game. Whew. So that's my staircases so far. Uh huh. Um, so you see how this chest is full? Yep. I believe I calculated out to be 27 of these full chests. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. Um, yes. that's a few. That's How many rows? That's that's like what? It's like twelve row, twelve rows. So twelve times three times nine hundred ninety nine times twenty seven. Did you say? Yes. So nine hundred seventy one thousand staircases, or something like that. Uh, yeah. I haven't worked out how long that'll take me exactly, but uh, the point being is that uh, does help me with some other things since that's the only way to reasonably get auto petters uh the other way which i mentioned earlier was they do drop from enemies in the harder mines mm -hmm. but it's it's so much rarer than the galaxy souls i've only ever seen one from that uh which will help supplement things but isn't enough on its own to mm -hmm. uh, get all of them the nice thing about that though is the treasure tests also contain a few other things i need like the slime eggs that you were talking about earlier oh yeah i hadn't even thought about that not the green or the blue ones, but the red and purple, which are the ones that kind of really matter. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of green and blue ones anyways, just in general doing stuff, and I can get a lot more just from putting slime into uh, the slime egg maker. <laughs> yeah, there's also like a decent method I know of that can get you like 40-ish slime eggs a day. Um, you just get um, Burger Loose Ring uh, and just... Uh, dangerous mines, monster moss. I don't know if you use like predictors or anything. Then you check which floors are the slime floors. You just head there, murder every slime, and you can get like a decent amount per day. So I don't know if you use predictor, but if you do, that's a solid method. Uh, I do not use the predictor. I chose not to when it <laughs> came out ever so long ago. Very valid, because it is kind of for this type of run. I think it takes away like like you were mentioning the fun aspect for you. Uh, but I do use Blade, uh, who's answered a few of my questions before on how some things work. Uh, one thing in particular down here. Mm -hmm. see, where is it? Oh, it's over here now. Sorry, I moved some things around. So, in, no, wait, one up. No, that was right. I'm sorry. So you'll <laughs> see. <laughs> sorry, I looked. No problem. Me. So you'll see the uh, two types of rotten plant in there. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, so a lot of people probably don't even know the second one exists. Uh huh. Uh, it's pretty rare for it to spawn, and I had to ask on the, uh, it's the Dew Crew Discord, they mm -hmm. helped me out with it. Uh, there's a very hard to work out equation that determines uh, which the pumpkin will turn into during the winter. So if you put a jack-o'-lantern out, uh, it will turn into one or the other. Uh, it's usually the uh, rotten plant that looks like some stuff is sticking out of the top of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's very rarely the other one. Uh, so like I had to clump. work out what days that would go on, yeah. <laughs> huh, interesting, yeah. So I have like two more questions, but they're not like insanely related to, related to the to the run. So if you have anything else you want to talk about before I get into those. Um, uh, sure, let's actually just look around really quickly because I don't think I really... Oh, I forgot to eat. Yeah, same. Oh, <laughs> uh, we can't eat in here. <laughs> wow, that's kind of... <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, you've probably figured out by now that I need a lot of Q-gems. 
Yep. Uh, so one of the ways I did this was <coughs> the, one of the ways I'm trying to do that is I'm trying to make it so I can do as many of the quests as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the there's two quests I will never do. Uh, the first one is the Juno McCart one. I imagine, one, yeah. <laughs> one because I can't get to fifty thousand score, uh, and two because it barely gives any Q gems. Yeah. Uh, and the other one is the Q beans quest, just because it takes too much effort. I've done it before, I think twice. Um, a lot of planning, a lot of farming for the beans to get to get going, and then yeah, it's not worth it for the time, I'd imagine. Yeah. It also takes away from my profits pretty significantly because I have to use the farming space. Yeah, like a couple hundred spaces. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of them, I figured out ways that I could make sure I do them every single time. Uh, one of those is the, the friendship one. Uh -huh. so I filled all of these with rabbits. <coughs> Not all of them. So oh, yeah, I got 12 iridium up. quality in yeah. there. It doesn't need to be iridium, really. <laughs> Just rabbit's feet I can give to everyone. Uh, these middle three are... Well, these two here are all golden chickens. Ooh, dang! Just, just for some extra cash when I need it. 74 I golden eggs. Days. Yeah, oh, I slept a few days, that's right. Oh yeah, if you want to see a lot, you can look down in these. Oh, and then that last one you just went in. This, these are all my um, old animals, if you want to look at some of their ages. And this one, did, or which one? Uh, the very left one. Very left, oh, okay. So, um, not the golden chickens, but everything 85 else. months. Yes, those are the animals I've had since the beginning of the game. I didn't want to get rid of them, so I just kept them in here. Yeah, their history. 86. Looks like 86 is the oldest. Crazy. Wow, and these, these golden chickens still got a solid age. I don't think I have an animal even close to that. That was, like, still 30 months. Yeah, I think we're in year 23 right now. So... Ostrich eggs are the only thing I'm not done with, and that's because they're very slow. <laughs> yeah. I've had these guys since 1.5 came out, pretty much. Uh, and I've still only got, I think, 700 eggs or so. And then this last one. Well, there's no time in this challenge. I forgot to even mention this because mm -hmm. it seems so long ago that it was a problem. Uh, where I didn't worry about it actually just being in one stack. I cared that I had 999 of it. Yeah. meant multiple qualities. <coughs> I changed my mind on that probably around when 1.5 came out. So I had to make more goats because I didn't have the right amount of goat milk in a stack. Oh yeah, that that's honestly I, I think that's that's probably the right move purely because it just looks a lot more satisfying if you know what I mean. If that makes any sense boring, at all. Doesn't it? I got rid of the trees pretty recently because I finished with them. Got to add some grass in here, get some decor going. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not big on the decor aspect. <laughs> I, I always tell myself, I'm going to make everything look pretty. I think when you asked me for the interview and everything, I was like, I'm going to make everything pretty. And then I just, no, it didn't happen. <laughs> you and uh, me so both, we'll, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and walk through my keg fields really quickly. Ooh, got the, the cloth going. So I think I have something like 1,200 kegs. Oh, geez, you get lost in these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this all star uh, fruit? More, yeah. Yeah, it's all star fruit. Uh, like I said, I slept a few days, so all mm -hmm. that's ready to harvest. Here, go to the quarry really quick. Oh, I'm getting a pen. Nice, got myself a hat. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I've got 1,200. I don't use them all most of the time. Mostly because I can't actually produce enough star fruit, but during the summer I can technically get enough. I seem to have lost you. Whereabouts are you? Oh, oh here you are. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm I'm very zoomed out, so I kept you on screen. But <laughs> oh yeah, I'm playing like windowed because um I haven't bothered setting up some stupid thing on my monitor. Oh, you're get some mine stuff. Sorry. Jeez, oh, getting get... <laughs> every cutscene under the sun. <laughs> there you go. Just a couple decades late. Oh, you're gonna get more if we go down to the beach too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna oh, get my fishing to, rod. <laughs> we don't need to go to the beach though. So, um, I told you about the statues of endless fortune. Yeah. Well, I kept them coming. This looks a lot less impressive because uh, <laughs> they're pink cake right now and not like diamonds or, uh, or... bars. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to talk very briefly about something there. Mm -hmm. So, like I said earlier, it's um, let's see, fish was very difficult for me at first uh, because mm -hmm. fish ponds didn't exist. Yeah. And my first thought was, well, I'll knock out all the ones that are just like, I can only catch a single fish in that place or are out of the way. So in the mutant bug layer, you can catch slime jacks. Yeah. Uh, so I actually caught, uh, with just the fishing rod, 999 slime jacks. Oh. 
That was the only one I actually finished before Fishing Ponds came out. Dang, yeah. Hey, I mean, even that. 999 of any fish. I think I have, like, only... I think I have around 1,000 fish caught total on my main save, so... That's pretty crazy. <laughs> back to the farm real quick. Heading um, back home. Um, that there's a Q quest now that lets you... Oh, yeah, lets you re-catch the legendaries, but it's really just a different legendary. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. and those stack. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've got, like, eight of them each, I think, right about now. Oh, boy. Uh, they, also get, they also get doubled by um, wild bait. So, if you get that 35% chance of wild bait, uh, you have a chance of doubling them. And so, over the course of uh, however many I need to do, um, it'll probably work out that they finish about equally. Yeah. So, fish is probably what I'm the furthest behind in. The only ones I have completely done are albacore, anchovy, and blobfish. Uh, oh, blobfish. Yes. Awesome. I was going alphabetical, but I decided to go for cooking now instead. So finish off my cooking first. Yeah. I'll go back to alphabetical. Mm -hmm. So uh, I haven't actually done that much with the island outside of my farm. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine that's the most important just part. Our fruit. And if we go down Trees. here. Oh, I didn't replant them. I thought I was going to do it for this video, but whatever. Uh, so, down here... Oh, I've uh, lost you. Where are you? <laughs> oh, oh here you are. Zoomed in. So, um, down here is where I actually get my hardwood. Um, I decided to stop for a while because I was running low on mahogany seeds, so I'm going to mm -hmm. build up again. But basically, this whole beach down here is like filled with uh, uh, hardwood tree or mahogany trees, and I just cut them down. Uh, and it's been very good. I've actually... I'm pretty close to... I think 80% done with hardwood completely, which there's a lot of hardwood that you need. Yeah, so many recipes. So, like just even just heavy top, heavy tappers straight off the uh, my head. That's like what 25,000 hardwood. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and actually, if we go back to the farm at some point, not right now, I'll mm -hmm. actually show you how much hardwood I have, which is a lot right now. I can't make a lot of the stuff because I'm missing other things. And one um, question: Do you have 100%? Of course, I have 100%. Oh, I only got 19. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'm, I'm lacking. Yeah, most of the Q-Gem stuff you can actually find outside of the Q, the uh, Walnut Room. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the um, pressure nozzles Fresh, yeah, exactly. and enrichers, those two, they can drop from the enemies in the harder mines. And I've actually gotten quite a few uh, from that. Uh, the other thing is there are a few things that don't. So right now I'm just buying the stuff that does not come from other drops so those other things can kind of build up in the background yeah while i'm working on some other stuff oh yes right here the tree seeds yeah so uh, i've been Ooh. working on the mushroom tree seeds and you can oh see yeah quite a number of them. not They're 687 five. getting close and yeah. banana saplings what what what's the situation with those what are you gonna oh. do for those oh you found it um i i forgot that is the hardest one i don't think you actually directly asked me what the hardest one is no i don't um, think i did it is banana saplings, and by extension, uh, golden coconuts. So, as far as I'm aware, there are only two ways to get banana saplings. Uh -huh. uh, mango, you can actually get from tiger slime drops, but banana, the only two ways you can get it are from drops from uh, geoding golden coconuts. I guess yep. that's a verb, geoding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> breaking open. Um, and, which, there's a one in seven chance after you get the golden helmet, which I have. Uh, or you can trade five, I don't know of what- Of those stupid, uh, thinking. dragon tears, or scales. Five dragon teeth. Sorry, it's in the second one there. Which All I right. only have 14 of, because I don't really run the mines, the, uh, lava mines right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but, as you can imagine, the solution is actually getting, uh, 7,000 golden coconuts, instead of getting- <laughs> Oh! 5,000 the other things so oh. the two ways you can get golden coconuts are random drops from trees in on the island that have coconuts on it which is actually common enough um oh and you can also get them from some worms yeah the worm spots will, was what i was thinking of yeah that's another way but there is one other way which saved this run uh and it's you might have noticed i was done with blue gill or i'm sorry what are they called blue fish blue, blue discus. <laughs> Uh, but I'm actually done with the fish, and I'm done with the row. But the one oh. thing I'm not done with are golden coconuts. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Oh, I see. You can get them. Okay. Yes. So uh, there's a 5% chance that a blue discus pond that's full will give you a golden coconut. 
Huh, well, I mean, if you got what, however many you have down, like, I don't know, like 30 or something, that's decent odds. Like, yeah, you'll get them eventually. It's still taking a while. I still don't even have a stack. Uh, but at some point, it will eventually happen. And then that'll finish mango saplings, that'll finish banana saplings. Uh, and that's really all I need from those, I think. <laughs> the so mantra that, that of this run seems to be uh, eventually. <laughs> Yes, a lot of stuff's happening in the background. I've basically become very efficient, where I'm doing stuff every day that's slowly building up a lot of the, the things that are happening. So, oh, the other thing with the... Uh, oh, I didn't even talk about that. Before we get distracted, though, if you want to see the hardwood right now, it's these three Oof. chests. Yeah, so... Crazy. Uh, and everything that's made out of hardwood in here, which there's a lot. Oh, oh my gosh. I had no idea. You're... I hadn't even thought about how much stuff you needed, or how much stuff was hardwood related. That's crazy. Yeah, so actually, I can check really quick how many, how much total hardwood I need. I think it might be, no, it's not more than stone. It's uh, 200,000 hardwood. Oof. And this right run. Now I'm at, yeah, right now I'm at 160,000, so about 80%. That's pretty close, actually. Yeah, so a lot of that's already put into things that make hard, take hardwood to make. Um, so in the desert, in the in the casino, you have like uh, a menu you can open that shows like your stats. Can we go take a look at that? That's what oh, I was absolutely. thinking. Sorry, there was one thing I wanted to mention before we went there. Oh, uh, <coughs> Omni Geodes. I mentioned earlier I need a lot of Omni Geodes, right? Oh yeah. Yes, uh, if we look middle chest here, you'll see those lovely artifact tropes. Oh yeah, F five each is it, I believe? Yes, and you'll notice the artifacts that I need. <laughs> Oh wow, yeah. So, oh jeez, um, yeah, you're like not even not even half. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah, so those take a while. Um luckily, because I'm going to get 999 statues of endless fortune anyways, and they have a 1 in 4 chance of pretty much every day giving me an omni geode. Uh it works out that it's going to be reasonable. It's just going to take a lot of time. <laughs> Mm hmm yeah that's that's every well okay not everything's reasonable in this run <laughs> it'll just take a lot of time <laughs> yes, that's yeah most of the stuff that's left i got all the easy stuff right yeah yeah so i think you can just like send a screen grab in the uh the discord chat because I, I won't see yours of course and it's not it's just teleporting me back dang i don't even get to go you in i guess i'm not there? cool enough <laughs> i don't have the stupid right. pass yeah that makes sense Okay, so 5.1 million steps, 1.3 million gifts given, almost 2,500 days in Stardew Valley, almost 100,000 dirt hoed, items crafted, items cooked, trash recycled, crazy, holy smokes. Yeah, if you think about items cooked, I need 999 of every one. Oh, I didn't even show you those, did I? I think I saw in your house there were some chests yeah. with stuff. Yeah. I can talk about some of the ones that are a little harder if you want to look at those. Really Absolutely, quick. I'm heading home. So Probably yeah, they're not. in alphabetical order. Uh, there only used to be two chests, but uh, 1.5 happened and added a few dishes. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. Nice. That's what's down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like a few casks. You know, you could probably fit a few more in though. Looks looks like not really the max yet. <laughs> so in order, I think the things I'm missing are baked fish. Pretty much everything requires fish in some way. <laughs> Uh, crispy bass, fiddlehead risotto. There, that's one that doesn't. Require oh fish. my! You can guess what that does require. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely guess. <laughs> uh, fish taco, fried calamari, fried eel. I mean, I guess when you don't have meat in the game, it kind of takes out a lot of dish options. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, that is true, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, luck, lucky lunch, which I think requires a sea cucumber. Uh, the maki roll, I think, only actually requires seaweed and any fish. Uh, the uh -huh. problem is actually seaweed. You'd be surprised at uh, how hard it is to get a lot of seaweed, especially when most of it goes into your fish ponds. <laughs> uh, plum pudding. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the only thing I really need left are the fall forges, so that's for that. Uh, roasted hazelnuts are almost done, but that's because I get them from the... Um, fish ponds? Uh, or Statues of Endless Fortune, so every year. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really handy, actually. Oh, yeah, you can get a few items like that. That's yeah, got to make... Uh, one of the few easier so, yeah yeah so there's a few like that uh, one of which is the um unbranded wine 
Oh. So, so there is wine that you can only get from that and from the uh, traveling cart occasionally. There's also unbranded juice and unbranded jelly, unbranded pickles. Those three um, you can only get from the traveling cart. So they huh. take forever and possibly will not get finished. If anything's not going to get finished, it's probably them and uh, the owl statues and the... Oh my the, god, the owl statues. What is it? The uh, yeah. strange capsule, which are now possible to get at least. <laughs> Wait, I thought you couldn't... I thought um, it's only once per save. Is it not for the strange capsules? Not as far as I'm aware. I have three of them. Really? Oh, dang. Yeah. I, I could have sworn they were once per save. Huh, okay. I've been spreading misinformation. Whoops. <laughs> uh... uh <laughs> I think maybe it's only when they break, because I've had the uh, closed one for a while. So I've got two broken and one. Oh, are you getting 999 broken and... Oh, yeah, you you gotta. Broken and closed. Think, oh, boy. Uh, I don't know if the uh, unbroken ones, the uh, <laughs> the sealed ones stack yet. I would assume they do, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't think that one's going to get finished. There are a few items that are just like not realistic <laughs> yeah like with all the craziness of this run sleeping for like ten thousand or a hundred thousand in-game years is probably probably a little bit far-fetched right, okay let's... i have two more questions if you have nothing else oh, more yes, to talk about ahead. okay uh so this one's a little bit off topic but uh your favorite and least favorite npcs if you have one i really really do like leah Mm -hmm. uh, you might notice I've been married to her for <laughs> 22 years. At this yeah, point. committed. That's uh, like a real life marriage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I've thought about divorcing her. I think some of the other spouses can give items I need, but I just want to stick with Leah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just couldn't bring it. Bring yourself to. Least favorite. I don't know. There's a few that I just find a little bland. <clears throat> like, I just haven't even thought about them in so long. Like I almost never see Elliot anymore because he's either in his cabin or. <laughs> <laughs> like never around yeah I couldn't even really tell you anything about him i don't even usually give him a rabbit's foot because i don't see him when i'm doing the 50 love gifts yeah oh yeah he's he's hiding away he's real shut in yeah i always go to krobus and the dwarf because they're always in the same place no matter it could be 1 a.m and i can still go to them yeah oh true <laughs> i don't know if i have like a least favorite though some of them i just find kind of like whatever i don't care too much for alex either oh alex is great okay Here's a fun story about Alex. Oh, no. So, um, Alex loves to stand, if you'll follow me really quickly here. Oh, he's not there right now. Um, but Alex loves to stand right here and stare at his dog instead of play with him mm -hmm. for hours and hours. Uh, and I love to touch these trash cans and see what's in them. Oh. He, he didn't like it when I did that. So I, I did that constantly. Uh, I'd already 100% the game, so I didn't really care that I was dropping down his friendship or whatever. Yeah. So I got him down to zero at one point. Like, <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, but like, anymore. how are you the weird one when this guy just stands and stares at his dog for hours at a time? <laughs> oh, oh, no, he, he got me back. Okay. So then this uh, little update called 1.5 came out. Yeah. Um, and it had a stipulation on 100% that you had to have 10 hearts with every <laughs> villager. Oh, no. <laughs> so... I had 10 hearts with everyone, except for Alex at that point. Uh, so I took Alex to the movies probably about 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and that was the last thing I needed for 100%. That was actually the last thing. <laughs> it took me so much longer than everything else. And then afterwards you brought him straight back down to zero hearts. <laughs> uh, no, I stopped going through trash because I got my trash can hat. <laughs> Honestly, I would have just gone ham on him with the slingshot. I just... I should have, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's my least favorite, I guess, is Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's probably the most valid reason I've ever heard for anyone to hate a character. <laughs> um, and my final question is, uh, have you streamed any of this challenge on like Twitch or YouTube or anything like that? I did, very briefly. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, gosh, that would have been several years ago at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did for a while. Uh, I'm thinking about doing it again, just mm -hmm. because I'm playing anyways, I might as well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I can like send uh, obviously shout out your whatever your Twitch your YouTube at the end and hopefully get some people for you to chat with or whatever. Sure, sure, I'd like that. Uh, yeah, I might get started in it now. I was planning on it during Christmas, but it ended up being kind of hectic. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but yeah. I got a new camera, so. Maybe <laughs> yeah, we can know. like time time the release of the video with your first stream, something like that. Hopefully, get some people over there. Um, and yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. one last thing. Are you gonna make a video on this when it's like 100% done? 
I uh, I didn't know about a video. I was gonna post on uh, like Reddit or something like that. Um, but I I imagine I could make a video. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun to do. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen like Argon uh, Matrixes uh, completing the community center without leveling up leveling up a skill. It'd probably be pretty or it'd be insanely cool to see like the whole whole walkthrough of this one to be like a four hour video but yeah I people are gonna go watch that <laughs> yeah that'd, that'd, be, that'd be worth it i think that'd be fun to do that'd be awesome yeah yeah when i get done though is uh is a bit of a stretch yeah you it's know 20 20 30 <laughs> you can move on to 999 and haunted chocolatier after that <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that the mechanics in that game work it might be a little different yeah uh yeah this this challenge kind of comes in and out for me Mm -hmm. uh, like this entire year, I was playing a lot, uh, but like two years before, like during the pre-pandemic, I had taken like a little pause on it. Uh, and right now, I haven't actually played in probably two weeks. Uh, mm -hmm. Besides for this, obviously, uh, I've been I modded Skyrim recently, so. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and plus, it's the holidays, family, whatever you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably in the top one percent of hours in this game i know i don't have the most <laughs> yeah I, I have someone of my friends with like 5600 to be fair most of that is probably afk afk <laughs> but um but uh that's still pretty crazy to just even have the game open that long that's like a i don't know how many hours in a year that's, yeah i think that's three years four years no no it can't be three years uh, there are 8700 hours in a year oh, so, so they're getting even... like they're approaching it <laughs> yeah well, this was super interesting. It's really cool to see the farm. Thank you for letting me on. I'm I'm sure it's like very precious to you with like five years of your life into oh, it. Worry, I made a backup. <laughs> yeah, don't trust me that much. <laughs> Deservedly so. Um, but yeah, thank you for talking with me. Um, yeah. Oh, it was really fun to talk you through this. I mm -hmm. I love. I'd love to share this like as much as I can because I think this is a really interesting challenge. Uh, it sounds like impossible at first. Like, you don't think about, like, oh, I'm going to get a stack of every single item. Some of them seem really easy, and some of them are, like, What the hell? Difficult. Yeah. I'm sure, like, 95% yeah. of the starter population would be, like, 999 prismatic shards? Oh, God, that's impossible. Like <laughs> yeah, and that's one of the easier ones. Although I don't yeah. have that yet. Oh, I didn't even talk about magic rock candy. Um, oh, God. It's basically God. just more prismatic shards. Just sleep in, right-click in every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, my God. I completely forgot to ask. What year is this on? 22 oh, i think you said uh, yeah i'm pretty sure it's 20. we can just like sleep i think it says or we have to like sell something i believe oh excuse me leah i'm just gonna chuck this cloth in the bin if that's okay yeah that's fine we can sell a tea set oh i'll never do that in real, in real <laughs> we'll see what happens <laughs> those are like 30 minutes of your life per i think it says it i remember yeah yeah you're 23 there it is crazy yeah and you're saying what what's your guesstimate on how many years like what a, a thousand uh, it needs at least 999, um, because of... The tea set. Uh, not just the tea set. Oh, boy. Uh, there's a few items that are yearly only. There's something called the Juma Juno statue? Juno? I can't even say that. Junimo. <laughs> Junimo statue. Junimo. Uh, that appears behind the uh, community set. center. Yeah. Yeah. Every once per year. I've got, like, six of those, I think, now. Uh, then there's a bunch of rare crow crows that only appear at festivals once per year. Oh gosh. I got added 1.5. They didn't use the stack before that, but... <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> this run just keeps getting crazier. Yeah, oh there's god. there's a story behind every item. Yeah. Right, how about you? Pick pick just one item at random. Um... Of, and I'll, I'll try and explain. Let me I think. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about Oh flowers. wait, the colored flowers! The colored flowers! <laughs> Dude, these annoy me so much, because, like, if you press the organize button, they switch around sometimes. Yeah, they do. I hate that. Oh, oh my no, god. they're not switching. Oh, because you don't have... Wait, yeah, you're right. I probably haven't switched the... Oh, these are switching. If you look at the tulips, they switch. <laughs> yeah, I cannot stand that. That makes me irrationally mad. <laughs> uh, I think it happens with the rare crows, too. Oh, does it? Really? Oh, no. It used to. That's right. Before this update, it used to. Before oh, yeah. 5. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, so colored flowers. I decided, yeah, I need one of every color because they're different. They don't stack together. Uh, oh, I need a stack God. of each color. So, yep. uh, that, that one's less interesting and just more time consuming. It just took a long time to farm them all. Uh, there are form all farmable, so. Yeah, you know, gotta do it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but like I said, I'm almost done with farming completely. Uh, it's just starfruit now and 
well, Starfruit I'm done with. I just need money. And the, um, really, it's just wild plums. Hazelnuts are pretty close to done, I think. Mm -hmm. It's just wild plums now. Well, this is insane. We've been talking for like an hour or so. I'm probably just going to upload this fully uncut on like my second channel or something. Oh, um, true. yeah. Uh, I should probably head out for now. Um, but thank you so much for talking with me. This was insanely interesting. Like I said, really great to share it with someone. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those things you do and don't, like, how do I explain this to my friends that don't play Stardew? Like, I, I spend hours. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> they just don't get it, right? Yeah, like, exactly. It's impossible to explain this to someone who doesn't understand what Stardew is. And yeah. And understand how hard it is to get some of these items. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll follow up with you with, like, uh... I'll send you the final video. You can like correct stuff if you like inaccuracies, etc. Uh, we can sort out like I don't know if you're doing Twitch or YouTube, whatever. Sort that all out. Sort video timing and yeah. So nice talking with yeah. Yeah, thanks. Good to talk with you too.